Thank you. We are very sorry. Bye bye. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, yes. And welcome back to another episode of America's Most Smartest Model. Alrighty. Time for bed. <laughs> Oh, the show that has given us cause for concern, should we say? In the last episode, my lovelies, we saw Andre have quite an explosive outburst, uh, multiple times actually, and then we saw Mandolin go. My favorite. Oh. I am genuinely gagged that in the last episode, still, that production didn't step in and go, Andre, this behavior not allowed, madam. You need to leave right now. Goodbye. Get out. Right now, it's the end of you. But they didn't. So, in fact, we have further confrontation, I expect, that's going to happen from Andre. Perhaps today, my lovelies. Today. Oh! Wow. Let me check in with you, my loves. How are we doing? Did you enjoy the last video? It was particularly intense, wasn't it? A little bit of an intense woman on the go. Mmm, quite. None of those words are in the Bible. Seek Jesus. I'm doing excellently well, my lovelies. Biscuit has entered his next, um, malting phase. Very helpful. That's why I'm wearing something plain today, so that if he wants to get on my lap, it doesn't matter that it's gonna get covered in fluff because it's easy to just Velcro off. Velcro, is that what it's called? Lint roll. So my loves, it's been a little while since we've done one of these videos. I don't know if I did one in uh, January. Maybe I did, I don't know. I can't quite remember, did I? Yeah. Time, an illustrious mistress that will kill us all. Anyway, the energy today in the studio is very bizarre. Within saying that, are you ready for a top comment of the last episode of America's Most Smartest Murder, my lovelies? Because I think I am. And that is by the amazing Rico. And they say, anyone I've ever met that said I'm brutally honest has always been more brutal than honest. Wig tea. I've also found it to be the case that meeting someone that just says, I'm just really brutally honest. I'm just brutally, people don't like me because I'm brutally honest. I'm just, I just tell it how it is. I say it like it is. I'm just brutally honest. No, you are just saying things to be hateful. <laughs> I chose to pick that top comment from the last episode, my lovelies, because it was so intense. The content of the last episode was so intense, in fact, that I just didn't really quite know what was going to happen in the comments. But everyone seems to be on the same page that Andre should have been removed from the show. So I wonder what's going to happen in today's episode. Today's episode is episode four, and it's called The Science Thing. Is she educated? We just don't know. Grab yourself a beverage. I'm back on the energy. This is my absolute favorite one at the moment, my lovelies. Monster Energy Ultra Rosa, the pink one, but not Pipeline Punch. Grab your little ochanger, my lovelies, and pop it into your little model hole, and let's watch America's Most Smartest Model. <laughs> Is she though? I don't think. Oh, but dabba dip bup dip Bip bip bibba dip bup dip I love the theme tunes of these shows because they're just so like clever girl. They're just like She's got lipstick on the go. There's the ball. Nobody knows. There's a shoe on the game. Hair dryer, beauty, brains. She's falling to her death. Most smartest model. Like it doesn't make any sense, does it? But sure, why not? Oh right, here we go. I got a problem. I got a pink room, and I have no roommates. Little Mandy Lynn is going home tonight. This is sad. Oh. Is he in a she room by himself now? Well, you build the pot. End up haunting her, so she was always going to remember that for the rest of her life. Yo, I, I missed that. Roommate. What was that? She's going to end up haunting her? Mary loves dick. She ran out of luck. She and that cake. I'm assuming Mandy. Talking about Mandy Lynn. She was always gonna remember that for his third life. Why are they playing like war music? Yo, another roommate is gone. I'm gonna start a shrine where I keep everyone's names. I <laughs> trophies from everyone, bro. It's like I love you all. Yes, even the Russian. This is from Erica. Oh! I'm going back to conquer some more and get some more names under my belt. Guys, here I come. Unfortunately, right here, he's actually being a little bit likable, which is a very unusual experience because in the last episode, in the comments, people were actually sharing some bits about what he did after the season aired and like his career and who he is as a person kind of after this show. And annoyingly, he's being quite likable here, just a bit like, oh, let me make a shrine to my fallen women who are now no longer in the competition. Like that's kind of fun and cute and weird and quirky, but like, He's not very nice. And it's being a huge problem, girls. Tonight, we dine in hell. That's why I never got my apology. That's why I was kind of like, yesterday, Andre came into the room and started screaming and yelling at me because he didn't like he what did. I was saying. He did. He did. That's he did. asked me to go in my ear and scream in my ear. This ass 
was yesterday talking in my face. That is so aggressive. Look, awful. Trying to be okay if I had some apology, but I've had nothing. Andre never apologized to me, and I don't know what's gonna happen next or how things are gonna go. Just being completely prejudgy and an awful person right now, I don't feel like Andre is going to apologize, but let's wait and see, shall we? If you're truly sorry, truly sorry for anything, you take responsibility for your mistake. Right. Yes. Well, you know, I love those light boxes. It's just like, what the Every time I've see. always been a, such a self-confident person, self-reliant, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. People yeah. tell me, you're not ever gonna be a model in this and that. So last night, Mary Alice tells me, I don't have a work ethic, and she's not sure what kind of model I'm gonna be. And the fact that she didn't give me credit to even say, I know you're working out, hurt me a little bit. I shouldn't be crying. I'm, mad. I'm really mad at myself more for crying than I am. Why? I must admit, this is quite unusual. We're seeing a lot of like post the last show at the start of this show. Does that usually happen? I don't feel like we see that in a lot of reality TV. Do we see that in? I guess like the only one I can think of immediately off the top of my head is Drag Race, where they're like, after last week's elimination. She's dead. Does America's Next Top Model have this? Definitely Janice Dickinson's modeling agency doesn't. No, no. crying you have to. That's just, you have to, that's her. And of course, the moment period, so... <laughs> We've got matching... I don't have that excuse. Today. I don't know. <laughs> Jesse has done extremely well in all... Look at that vein! The bad in, in, in all intellectual challenges. I mean, he's a funny guy, and I, mean, I just think nature's taking its course. And, I mean, he's gay, he's black, and he's overweight. You know he has insecurities about one of the things. He's insecure, not because he's gay or black, because he's fat. Wow, Dr. Andre there laying down the law, so to speak. Glad he didn't say anything homophobic there. But that was still a problematic sentence to say, wasn't it? Because realistically, back in this day and age when this was filmed, Jesse is not overweight. Just average body shapes were just not allowed to be on TV ever seen ever, apparently. Right, here we go. The Moon Girls, oh, the next day. Oh, the fission reactor explosion. <laughs> All right, what's this? A new day, a new code. Why is he on the floor? This is you. Yes. Oh, put in 0704. Um, to be completely honest, I'm not really big on people coming in and waking me up to give them an answer. The oh. answers have been pretty easy. This breaks the Geneva Convention, does it not? Putting a bathroom behind a lock? Is that not like against international war treaties? I'm pretty sure, no? Nice. Nice. We are now morning models. From the garden. They say you learn something new every day. I hope they you say that you've got gates because your knowledge will be put to the test in today's edge challenge. Edging. My grade in science was actually good. Science because I cheated off from someone. Blonde. Rachel. Divide yourselves into teams of two and choose your teammate wisely because okay. one of you is going home tomorrow. Oh. Night. Let's do it. Right. I love a bit of a science right. moment. If you guys are fresh to the channel or don't know much about me. My name is Laxaria. Uh, I've been a makeup artist since 2007. Uh, and I also have a biochemistry degree because I have a fundamental interest in the way things work. I love science. I love physics. I love biology. Love, love, love biochemistry. My specific area of expertise was bioinformatics, epigenetics, and cellular ultrastructure. So I wonder if we'll get any of these coming up in the questions. No. Yeah, are you cool with that though? Yeah, no, no. is a very smart guy. So I figure if we pray up together, it can't do anything but be good for both of us. I don't know if it's the lighting in this show, but like almost everyone looks the same skin tone. It's really like an odd, lighting thing because like everyone's tan but like the same shade of tan it's so bizarre i mean like jesse's black and even here it kind of looks like the tan people are also like black it doesn't matter like how does this lighting work what then is going on with your eggs i think people would assume that maybe rachel and i would pair up oh yeah there we go oh it's, it's all very I'll pair beige up with rachel in the bedroom if i feel like it but oh, yeah, in the competition healthy. i'm here to win so let's just put our names into a bucket and just pick everybody breaks into pairs why don't you stick your name in the bucket we throw the bucket out the window oh wow. go paired up and the only people that oh my goodness look angela at got daniel brett and pickle Look at that star tattoo. Being featured on Roly Chanel next week, no doubt. I don't understand, I'm a, I'm a simple woman. If you hear any crunching happening just from down here, Mr. Biscuits has a treat and he's really going for it, girls. Paired up. And the only people that are left are me, 
Rachel, Rachel, and Andre. Okay, so how about me, Rachel, Rachel, and Rachel, and Rachel, and Andre, and me and Rach? No. What was what was the name of the people in Recess? Do you remember Recess, the '90s cartoon? Was it Stacy? Stacy, 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 and Stacy. <laughs> Ashley. It was Ashley, wasn't it? Ashley, 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 and Ashley. Rach, no, you want to go we've together? been partners this whole time, so we're still partners. I did not want to work with Andre again. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So I Get off me. Close Don't to me. pull on Rachel. my hood. Slap. No, I'll go. Take your little that. pussy shorts and think about what you've done, Andre. I think instead of Lisa, it should have been me and VJ. Lisa hates science also and is not very good. Oh dear. I don't have a partner. How can you hate yeah. science? Do you? Yeah. you have one? Me and you? Unfortunately, I've had to team up with Andre. I'm not a good science partner because I don't know anything about science. I didn't take sciences in school. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Oh, I'm not liking where this is going so far, although this does seem to be the calmest intro to an episode we've seen so far, although this is only episode four. Not really saying much, is it? No. I walk in the room and... Ooh. I oh, I like the like, science oh, sounds. no. What are they going to make us do? Beep, beep. The si oh, it's a science fair. We don't have these in the UK, so I'm not going to know any of all this, am I? Yeah! You're going back to school for today's Edge Challenge. Mm, very Claire's very accessories. Back to school. Uh, the point of the science fair is to help... What's that? Purple is for thugs. Isn't thug a slur? You learn about and then explain a scientific principle and then demonstrate it using a homemade exhibit. Now, right. this is something every eighth grader in America is familiar with. Right. If our models can't do it, it's going to raise serious questions about their intellectual abilities. We should science fairs here. We have here. brought in a very special guest to help judge us on this science fair. A Say particle! to Bill Nye the Science Fair. Oh! Nye. America's sweetheart, Billiam Nyabel. I'm so excited to see Bill Nye. <laughs> Not Billiam Nyabel. Delusion. I don't say. I am so excited to see Bill Nye. I grew up on his show. I mean, my child as a UK hero, person, Bill Nye, the I don't. Guy. In addition we didn't have to his show, uh, being a judge, still. I'll be checking in a little later to see how you're doing you and meet with each of you to make sure that your team is on track so that your presentation will be confident and charming. And we can all, dare I say it, change the world. Oh. Who's Bill Nine? Yeah. Mm. So, Brett, would you please step forward? American and celebrity pick your topic. scientist. <gasps> Into the wine bucket. What is your topic, please? Newton versus Einstein. Okay. Classic struggle. Andre? Newton versus Einstein. What is it? Density flow. Ooh, Solar density house. flow. Volcano, baby. Okay, Lisa. Magnetic levitation. Ooh, maglev. Magnetic levitation. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the f is that? There was a shop in Brighton where I grew up that used magnetic levitation to advertise shoes. They would just spin, suspended in air. It was great. Bill and I are going to be judging you on the following. William Nye, three Bill and I. One, the accuracy of your project. Two, the quality of your visual aids. And three, your overall grasp of your topic. Okay. You're going to be playing mean? for the contents of this box. Which is very What's on her top? Is her dress made out of MRI scans? What did you just say? Am I experiencing hallucination here? Or is her dress skull x-rays? Which is very important because it will What's give you a big edge. Is it the internet? Is the internet in there? The edge we're competing for is the contents of a little black box. Okay. Show what's in it. But I want it. Oh, so you have two hours. We have the help of one of America's smartest guys, Dr. Bill Nye. Goodbye and good luck. Right. Okay. See you in two hours. Goodly bye, Leo. Go get them, models. Get at it. Right. What is the thing? So what What's the wig? What's the tea? This. Oh, yes. What is this for? So little friction. Look at this. Oh, you got it. Explain force. I'm looking through the information packet they gave us. Dude, it's like trying to understand Einstein's theories, and it's like insane stuff. But Same. Bill's coming by, and, and we're going to pick his brain a little bit. This is huge. Newton versus Einstein. Right. Nobody knows where gravity comes from. It's still a mystery. Nobody knows. One of the kookiest yes, guys ever. Cool. Okay, Bill Nye the science guy. I was confused. I'm just lost. Mm -hmm. 
What I'd like to hear is... That's a little bit unfair. They've just been like, oh, he's so quirky, isn't he? So quirky. Clearly, he was trying to give a description of gravitational waves, perhaps, then. But they were just like, cut out all the beginning bit just to make him go... Ee! It's very easy to make scientists look completely insane if all they're doing is going... Ee! I would love to be paid to do a PhD to just go... Ee! Great. Any universities want to sign me up? Ee! Don't bother. Oozing and explosive. Oozing. And I'm like, hmm. Ooh. Density flow. By tradition, what color do you think we make the warm? Hot. What color do you make the warm side? About the color, I'm not a, I'm not a, red. I'm, not, I'm well, just so confused. Red. Solar House, you will present solar energy to the world, and you will, dare I say it, influence all yes. of humankind oh, to character. capture solar energy. <laughs> Bit early for a Dyson sphere, isn't it? What does that mean? What does levitation mean? Floating. Do you know how a toaster works? And this is where I go, no. The more he talked to us, the more confused I was. Oh, this isn't boding well, is it? We're not really learning anything about science. I don't know why in my head I was like, oh my God, we get to learn and talk about science. Let's talk about science. No, of course it's just going to be, let's make the scientists go, of course it is. Oh, disconnected on the phone, girl. Hang it up. We have a half hour left. I Bloody suggest you work on your presentation. color for a sofa. Your verbal explanations and, of course, your visuals. Right. Let's get out there. Let's, dare I say it, present to the world. I want to ooh like a that is happy. Let's try to I'm get this in. Sorry, you want to what the when? I want to ooh like a that is happy. Let's try to get this I in our brains. Like it's like a bad habit. No, it's going to be like the young Newton, young high step. We're going to play a little comedy shtick. I'm not going to ruin it for you, but we got we got a little trick up our sleeve. Okay. A little trick. You got to have it's a mini the wizard the sleeve. And you got to have a bra. They said it's about presentation. I'm going to win this. We're our models. Suddenly, density flow is not about density flow anymore. It's about a Russian and an Australian have naked. Are you going to wear bikinis? Yes. Like I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel there about someone being like, "You need to wear a bikini for this. You should wear a bikini. You should wear a bikini for this." That's coercion, surely. I mean, we haven't heard any rules about what they can and can't wear to present their science findings, but like, oh, I don't know. It just feels a bit ooh. disgusting. The directions don't tell us what it's supposed to do. It just says to put it together. I knew it was a complete disaster. Okay. And there's also supposed to be a battery. I still don't know don't what have. you're doing. What is it? Just making a solar house? But that doesn't make any sense. Are you making the cells? Are you showing what the cells do? I don't understand what it is. What is this? No, America's most smartest woman on the game. We don't have it to present. We are going to be judged on the accuracy of our project mm. and how well we present. My eye on fire. I was ready to BS this project the whole way through. Models, are you ready? Is that MRIs? Is that MRIs or am I? Is it like? Is it MRIs? I don't know about all this. Are you ready for this? If someone was to walk into a room and go at me, I would be immediately like, Madam, this is going to go directly into your cranium now. They'll have to do an MRI scan to find out where it is. Good heavens. Are you ready? Oh, Are you ready for the Imagine. science fair? <laughs> Hello. Well, like, let's see what we have. Or shall we start? Two beautiful scientists, the lovely Lisa and the lovely Rachel. And your project is about what? Um, it's magnetic levitation. Okay. Right. There is the electric dynamic suspension. Yes. Uh, that is basically the opposite of electric Matic suspension. I don't know. No. But how is that done? The train from like here to Chicago, like all of it's not working. As it goes, it, you know, turns on, they, you know, whatever. Lisa and Rachel Myers. Do oh, dear. Mind you, I think most people would struggle to be able to actually explain magnetic levitation unless you've actually done any sort of study in it. I think the most common application, should we say, it's maybe not quite magnetic levitation, but it's definitely magnetic thrust, should we say, that employs some sort of things 
that are kind of similar to magnetic levitation. The one that I immediately think of, I think it's Rita? Rita at Alton Towers? Or it might be Stealth at Thorpe Park. Hello everyone, editing Luxaria here. So it's actually neither of those. In fact, those roller coasters utilize hydraulic thrust launchers, which actually relates to liquid properties rather than magnetic levitation. Maverick in Cedar Point actually does use maglev technology in order to propel the carts forward. As you can see in this clip here, the white parts in the center of the track are actually magnets and they're programmed to force the little coaster forward. And you can see it gets a lot of speed quite quickly. Quickly. Don't you just love magnets? And it uses electromagnetism by alternating on and off in order to like push all the way along a track to make it exceptionally fast. And that is a similar principle to magnetic levitation. At least when it's used in vehicles anyway. It's like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I don't know. Is it a circus? Because if it's a traveling circus, they're gonna win. We've had a good time. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pickle. Okay, first of all, what is this all about? That, they did her dirty there, didn't they? They were like, Thank you very much. She's just like, <laughs> This show is just ridicule central, isn't it? How, How are you guys you? doing? I'm Albert Einstein. And I'm Isaac. Funny. Isaac Newton. I love being funny. So we're gonna just make it nerds. Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, the nerds. I'm gonna jump. Jump in the air, but I'm gonna try to you're jump. You're gonna hit Stay it. Stay in the air. Here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's, it's gravity, gravity, isn't it? Gravity is what holds us to this like earth. This is like a Yiddish theater production. It's like a little of it goes a long way. When Brent and Pickle did their skit, I was really nervous about it because I thought Bill Nye is just gonna think, oh, this is great, it's, it's a fun show and you learn a little. <laughs> One, Same two, time. three. Look at that. That one weighs a lot more. That one weighs a lot less. And they hit it exactly the same time. What I think is that not only are the apples falling, the apples are pulling the earth up as well. That's because space curves. I mean, we maybe got like 4% of their overall presentation there. But describing gravity through the way of like holding a blanket and then putting a large object in the middle is kind of what we do to explain like gravity gravitational pull to like young people and people who maybe don't get what it is. So I'm not quite sure I agree with the whole like, let's exaggerate nerds, but you and know, the it was 2005. Actor and supporting actor Oscar goes to Pickle and Rats. Okay, now we're gonna move <laughs> now on to our charming <laughs> comrade. Both, but... Come out, come out wherever you are. Right, oh God. Oh my God. We are going to be talking oh, about. Very nice. <laughs> we are gonna be discussing whether has he stuffed his garment? Systems today. Very nice. Man. This is gonna be a lousy presentation, no matter what. Yeah. You might as well go down with a bang. At least look good. Don't say go down. We're showing that differences in temperature can what create differences in pressure. Three, two, right. one. Yeah. Oh. I don't even know what Rachel and Andre's project is about because I'm Density. just looking at Rachel in her bikini. But as you can see it oh. moving, the cold, denser air is heavier and it's wedging underneath the warmer water which yeah. is rising to the top. Yeah. I think she showing up to science fair in your underwear should just be an automatic fail. Can, judges, anyone, any, anyone? With the greatest respect to both of you and your, your extraordinary intelligence and fashion sense, what the hell is this all about? <laughs> it's about weather, Ben. Guys, models, hello everyone. Jesse, what do you and your partner uh, have here? Well, Vita and I are doing... What was that? What was that? Although I do kind of feel a little bit like describing the difference between density is quite different to like explain the theory of magnetic levitation, which is also again, very different to describe gravitational waves. I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit unfair perhaps. Kind of eruptions. What's a volcanologist? Um, Somebody who's well, where does that heat come from? Magma. Well, wait a second. I don't understand. Then why doesn't the whole earth explode? The judges, as usual, decide to call my black ass out about how I'm so deficient. Or is it inefficient? Deficient's a word, isn't it? Let's blow the thing up. It is All a right, right, let's blow it up. the right one. Right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Is this the same as Elephant Street Pace? It takes thousands of years to, to create. I've never actually done the volcano experiment. I'm assuming it's a peroxide reaction. You see that? There it goes. Oh, oh. Oh. Good. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> First a very happened, safe but eruption. Yes. Just starts spewing out this artificial lava. So this would be considered an active volcano. Oh, it just kept erupting. Quite, getting quite dangerous now. 
and it oh, gets, no. I mean, everywhere. Oh, it, it, was, it was awful. And that is our presentation That's of our presentation. Well, volcanic it certainly rock. shows you can't you control much. lava, girl. Why is she upset? She doesn't have to mop it. Get out, your Swiffer girls. How long have I had this piece of fluff in my hair? Oh, my inner sabotage. Ugh, disgusting girls. Angela, Daniel, what's your project about? Angela please? Bassett did Our the thing. Our project is a solar house. Right. The most nerve wracking thing about the science project was that it was somewhat complicated. How do I explain this? How do you explain <laughs> so solar don't energy? Get bored. <laughs> One way that we can actually use it to power a house is to create electricity. Yes. And the sun shines on the solar panel, it goes through the glass case, and what happens is it creates an imbalance of the silicon atom, which causes the electrons to transport and migrate from atom to atom. So it causes exciting. what we call a direct current, and yes. what you would have is an inverter underneath the solar panels that can change the direct current into an alternating current, and then you can power it through the house. Exactly. Very beautifully done. Okay. Okay. I did get that. I understood. Did you we understand? We are going to now go around the room and grade you on uh, style and substance. Right, okay, so this is literally like year seven. Lisa and Rachel, beautiful girls who did this maglev thing. Uh, you're not scientists, we, that's obvious. I didn't think that we bombed it, but I knew that I was like, that's got to be a C. I would at best give you a D plus. Now let's go on. D to our comrade from Russia D and our comrade from Australia. I didn't get the idea of coming out in the bikini and the underpants. And I think you could have tied in, you know, it's hot in here because uh, the sun is beating down and I want to take off all my clothes. <laughs> so I would give them a C plus. We're going to go on to Einstein. I still feel like that was all Andre's idea and I'm, we're just like glossing over the fact there. I don't know. I don't know quite how I feel about that. How do you feel about that? I'm a Newton over here. Well, I was mesmerized by Isaac and Albert. I think they are extremely good looking I... in their fashionable clothes. I don't understand one millionth as well as Bill does, but from what little I know, I thought you did a damn good job and I, I give you an A-minus. I do think they did really well, although I, I don't really appreciate um, like Jesse making... and BJ. I didn't think I learned a damn thing I didn't already know, so I would give them a C-minus. You're the smartest man in America, so what don't you know? Like, that's stupid, come on, who says that? Angela and Daniel. You both seem to know a lot more than I would have expected. Well, yeah. I, I have to say, I think this is the essence of what this whole show is about. You both look great. I think this was brilliant, just brilliant. I give you an A plus, you guys Yes, that. I think they did the best. I mean, from that tiny little split section that we saw, which was literally just like a few moments, that was definitely the best? I don't know, it's really difficult to say when it comes to production because they could just be like, we want these people to win this week, so just make sure you do everything that makes them win. Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Put you in my oven! Oh, Ben's compliment made me feel like a million dollars, or I should say a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> oh yes, Congratulations, Angela. I forget they're gonna win Daniel. Daniel. Okay. That's You've quite won impressive. the science fair. Right. And your edge is in this box. The box of edge. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> sunless tanner. Sunless <laughs> tanner. Tomorrow you're both going to get a professional sunless tanning session for... All of that for sunless tanning? Mystic, which will come in Mystic. very handy for tomorrow's callback challenge, which is a tropical photo shoot by the pool. As for the rest of you, you will be left to your own devices. Okay. Gorgeous blue eyes. Very on tropical budget. Photo shoot. Just bring in a photo Sun shoot. Tan. Bring in a photographer even, maybe they could be an intern somewhere, take some photos of these models by the pool. Not a lot of budget on this show, is there? Not a lot of budget, is there? For those of you that were not your most smartest today, at the callback challenge, you need to impress. I made it here thus far because of my intelligence. But I'm figuring if I can't win this challenge with my smarts, my ass is gonna be grass. Models, until the callback challenge, we bid you adieu. Okay, good night, everybody. Don't forget to put on your suntan. Right, oh, da 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 good morning, girls. Oh, abdominal muscles. <laughs> Big Daddy Milk is milking time. Back challenge, we are setting up a tropical photo shoot. Some... Did we see some sort of care and attention there? That was unusual, wasn't it? Usually he's like, I hate everyone that's not Russian. America, awful. This has to be in the bag for me. A floral. I'm a black man, I win a talent contest. And then there would randomly be girls like, why do you shave your chest? I just shave mine because they look more ripped. Brett and I are two good looking cats, both good bodies, both cats. tan. Fair race. For tanning ad, we got this. This is awesome. Oh my god. I mean, the you amount can't of bulge I've seen in this episode already, and it, I'm just like halfway through. It's just bulge tastic. Have a little yeah. belly in, in modeling, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta that be nice, nice and trim. I think that was a cat. <laughs> 
God. Oh, God. I am one tropical <laughs> with my exotic face. They got to deal with the belly and look over it. VJ has a great body. I figure, why not use him to help me make a great photo? I don't play to lose, I play to win. Bring it on. Interesting. Okay. You look great, Angela. Are they doing this on purpose? I really what gotta is this? give it my all in this callback challenge. I know I didn't do good on my science fair project. It's music. So I really <laughs> want to nail this photo shoot today. Okay, you guys, so in today's callback challenge, Run each away. team will be making an ad for a mock sunless tanning lotion called Bronze Omatic. The slogan is Bronze Omatic, we can make any body look good. Angela and Daniel, since you won the science fair, I'd like to introduce you to your edge. This is Mr. Ricky Croft. He's the senior VP of product development for Mystic Tan. Right. Okay. So they've got to come up with an advert. So Ricky's going to be giving Angela... This is the first time we've ever seen anything quite like this, isn't it? Usually they just sort of go, and now it's the photo shoot time. I feel like this is just like undisclosed product advertisement though. I say it's undisclosed, but like, do you have to disclose things on TV? I don't think you do, do you? If I received this drink for free, any time I was going to post this, on my Instagram or here on YouTube, I'd have to put gifted somewhere to be like, ah, the monster was gifted, so please don't arrest me, advertising agency. Just, the difference is wild. Tanning session in Mystic Tan's exclusive tanning booth. Right, exclusive pop-up tanning booth. The Cardboard. rest of you will have to make your own sunless tanning lotion. Right. Each team has a designated table, and on that table are some ingredients that you'll need to use. Ah! Oh, I love this, my lovelies. I know what goes into a formula of sunless tanner, so I'm very interested to know exactly what they're going to make here. Okay, we've got some chemistry. We've got some formulation chemistry. Oh, yes, bitch. Okay, let's see. Oh, how exciting. Mm, iodine, coffee. How the hell am I supposed to make tanning lotion out of the... Now I'm gonna make- Oh, is it not gonna be like real tan? Oh, is it not gonna be it actual tanning? Is it just gonna be like DIY home remember. coffee tan? For the last four months, these people have been hiding away in their basements, hunched over their computers, playing World of Warcraft for hours and hours on end. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to the nerds! What an introduction was that? As if like playing video games is somehow like awful and naughty and you should be in the basement. I used to play World of Warcraft. And in fact, up until very recently. Do I look like a basement dwelling sunless nerd? No, I'm a nerd with a lash on. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, what's, what's all this? Why are you being so rude? In comes a group of nerds. Please don't let me have the one with the belly hair. Sorry, imagine walking into a room full of people. They're clapping and going, oh no. Ugh. Television is just disgusting sometimes. And we have a special visit from Mr. Biscuit, don't we? Oh, thank you for the kisses. Should we put you in Sunless Tanner? Yes. Nice bronze biscuit boy. Our nerd is like the geekiest geek of all geeks. Guess what? This is I got the hairy one. So you all have one hour to make your tanning lotion and apply it yes. to your new pasty teammate. After that, each team okay. will get 30 minutes to shoot their bronze matic ad campaign by the pool. The team with the best photo it's an automatic callback to the next episode. We'll see you by the pool in one hour. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Would you like we to have an hour to make our biscuit. nerd tan. Is that gonna even mix, you think? So right away, we start mixing things together. This is gonna be hard to make. Mm. Either. So they literally have to make like... I just start dumping lotion and oil. There's me thinking, oh my God, so we're gonna see some actual chemistry. For some reason, I actually just sort of forgot that you can't really give people unrestricted use to chemicals. To, well, specific chemicals anyway. Here we are making Pinterest home recipe tans, apparently. Does it feel good? Uh. Anything that we can that will stain a skin. Stain and it's skin. off. If you want one that's sort of work. But no, it is exfoliating though. Yes, yeah, it, it hurts, it hurts. You don't I want a tan to exfoliate. I got your But we are gonna shave you, is that okay? That'll work on this later. I'm a furry, furry individual. <laughs> A little hair is okay, but when you're the hairy Grazilla monster, that's just not cool. No. That man was not that hairy. Hairy Grazilla monster. Oh, judgment, sis. Not looking so pretty now, are you? Pretty on the outside. Mmm, personality zero. Just, just, I know, pretend it's I know, I know. a dog. We shaved his arms, we shaved his chest. 
Let me um, get your unibrow real quick. There was hair flying everywhere. Okay, jump in the shower. This is very body shape. I want you to go in my room and pick a sock and put these balls and these penis in it. He doesn't have to do that. Shut up. We're going to be very do what I say. kind. Wait a minute, you have to yeah. this guy completely yeah. naked. Oh, okay, so we now know that he, like, stuffs his underwear, but, like, what a horrible way to say, like, shut up, just do as I say. I hate that phrase so much. Like, no, go and do it yourself if it's that important. Okay, listen, man. This is how you cover when you shoot nude. That. So you don't see your balls. Don't worry. Oh, did I tell you that we're gonna make him be naked? Yeah. You help, you're a guy. I'm not f***ing touching these you crazy awesome. It's a dude, for f***ing sake. You're gonna have to take care of this dude and you're gonna love it because I'm not touching this guy. I bet this is an unusual experience for you. <laughs> what is happening? What is this episode? What's happening? All right, what's this unfortunate? What's, what's gonna happen now? Steve's gonna come out with a golden bronze tan instantly. Daniel and I already have our edge. We get the professional tan. Everybody else has to scramble and tan their nerds with kitchen products. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, oh, I don't think I've ever been in like a tanning booth machine. Oh. Actually, I, I, I haven't been honored to have a pale subject like this in years. Uh, so what we're going to actually do, we're actually going to do another coat. Okay. Oh, and a third. So I actually told him to go in the booth like five or six times. Yeah, is that normal? Oh, is he going to come out like neon orange? But well, he shouldn't if it's a decent yeah. tanning formula. <laughs> I think awesome. we should do one more time. <laughs> <laughs> He's so white. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Well, isn't the thing with tans that they develop? No, even with a spray tan, because the color you immediately see is the guide color. Although I'm not hugely familiar with spray tans, only with like sunless from a bottle. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, dude, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Pickle comes up with the, the idea of just lotion and cocoa powder. Like, Pickle, you're genius. Like, all right, we're gonna win this. 100%, this girl looks tan. Oh, she's lotion. lotion oh, lotion. no. But it's gonna be so streaky. 20 minutes later, it dries. And we're pretty much screwed. We have to shoot with her looking like she has some kind of disease that's not good. So right. streaky. <laughs> Minus the skin disorder. <laughs> Oh, he looked like a burn victim. I'm so sorry. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not saying that, madam. Even back when this was filmed, you should know not to say that that is an insult. That's unacceptable. I'm so sorry. We'll just have to highlight that up a little bit. Yeah. So our nerd looked a bronze ass mess. We have five minutes to go. I'm going to go home if I do not win this challenge. But they sort of okay, expected models. this, no, because Time they haven't given them any professional Everyone products. in front of the pool. Everyone by the pool. Right I'm not sure about all these extremely revealing underwear. Right, what's the tea? Oh, America's most smartest model who can't make a tan at home. Now each get 30 minutes right. to stage your photograph, right. shoot your picture, and select the picture you are going to present to me. Right. For today's callback challenge, we have to create an ad for a tanning lotion called bronze matic yes. The twist is oh, that dear. we're They've working really with a nerd. <laughs> I have my Why good friend Melissa Manning, she will be your photographer today. Ooh, a I celebrity. will be judging you on the quality of your photographs as well as the quality of the tan you've created for your sun challenge. What's that friends? got to do with being a model, being able to recreate so, a tan? Irrelevant, sis. I will not say anything now and I'll save it for when I review your photographs. Good luck. Pickle and Brett, you're up. We're ready. We only got 30 minutes to go. Once again, we're playing around. Right, here we go. So Brett and I have decided we're gonna rock the nerd Genevieve. We're gonna make her the like a queen for a day. Yes, hair. Give it hair. Oh, vandalizing. I'm calling the police. It's about making anybody look good. So even though Pickle and I made Genevieve's tan look like she rolled like around terrible. in duty, I'd be she's so gonna be the star of our shit. And here we go. Imagine Give bringing a, a celebrity oh. photographer into this. Imagine. Imagine. Just imagine for a second, would you? No, please. Ah. Of, mm. All right. Beef. She looked terrible with her tan. Yes. Absolutely terrible. At least she smells good. Hmm, smells like chocolate cake. Okay. Oh, I'm, I That's just it. can't wait to see how this right. turns out, girl. 
He's gonna be the towel boy. Um, like our body is our advantage. In fact, I'm gonna stick my ass up. It's fair to say that maybe me and Lisa aren't that great in the smarts department, but our bodies are sick. Really work your body in, in the back there. All they Hand it up a little. We were trying to create something like we're having drinks, it's fun, we're at the pool, but, but we about... actually look like two big towers and the bar was this big. Mm. Get rid of the bar? Yeah. Okay. But it's about him. He's no. Fine. He's not having a good time. Oh, in the pool. Don't put him in the <laughs> pool. It'll all come off. When we were in the pool, I felt like it was at least covering up half of his body so you weren't seeing the skin disorder so badly. Okay. Okay, okay. let's do it. Just call it Apache Tan. Don't call it a skin disorder. Okay, we're, we're not doing this. That. Because the motto of the whole thing, it says, what? We could make anybody look like a god. We're planning on doing this guy like a god. What this did is he, the what only did, time what did they where models him? in the history of mankind bow to a mortal. I didn't expect to be as close to the nerd's crutch as I ended up being. Oh, this is very oh. lustful, isn't it? Okay, let's check these out. What's your idea? We want to have... Interesting. Interesting there. Interesting. I don't really have any words of what to say there. Yeah, that was very provocative, wasn't it? Very, like, bisexual attraction extraordinaire. Mm. Mm, mm. And they're both boys. Mm. Which, great to see the representation, but under very suspicious circumstances. Fun, man. We want to play with the bar. She's Tara Reid. She's rich. Right. She's drunk. She has okay. a fabulous guy here. Mm. When he's talking about the Tara Reid vision, I don't see it. Our, our model is nothing like Tara Reid. There you go, Mama Zita. Down a little bit. You don't want to block my face either. Surprisingly enough, the these people might BJ be surprised to know that the biggest consumers of fake tan is just the average person. The average person is allowed to feel a bit tan, a bit gorgeous, a bit beige, a bit sun kissed, you know? Like, that's what you're trying to do, no? As a model, you're trying to advertise an appealing product or lifestyle to people who consume that product or lifestyle. Like, dominate the picture. And dominate. I'm wondering, like, what are you doing? Dominate. I definitely have a strategy. Jesse who doesn't have the best body, if that means that I've got to be in front of the photo to make sure that oh, I get that a good shot, the then that's what is I'll do. Is this what this is? Oh, Jesse's I do feel story. like I could be a little bit more in focus, a little more in the picture. And so I'm wondering if that was a little bit of trickery there. Okay, let's see what we got. All right. So, um, do, like, gonna he's going to be like... They do keep trying to give them this, like, bikini shoots where, like, everything is on display rather than just, like, beauty shots or glamour shots or something, you know? Just something else. Everything's a bit like, get naked by the pool. Happy because he's got his little tans. Yeah. We're going to be, like, sexy. Right. He's Daniel and I decided to play tans. up the nerd factor of Steve. Oh, is this after? Oh, he wouldn't his, normally his tan be is developing. People of our caliber, but because he's got this tan, now he's I'm cool. Sorry, what did you just say? He wouldn't normally be hanging out with people of our caliber, but because he, he wouldn't normally be hanging out with people of our caliber. Who do you think makes the most money in the world? Who do you think's giving investment to all these businesses that pay for models? It's usually the nerds, not gonna lie. Wow. Ooh, bit of elitism there that's a bit unwelcome. He's got this tan, now he's cool enough to hang out with us. Cool enough. It's going a little bit low, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, oh, we want to show. Ooh. Boys. Mm. We're just trying to make sure that we pull down his pants. <laughs> In a way where we could show his tan. This is a very bizarre concept. That one's good. No? I like, that like one. I don't look understand. Good, made, you look bad. made you look bad. She was trying to like be all about him mm -hmm. and the girl. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to Andre after the shoot, and I expressed to him that I really feel like VJ stole all the spotlight. Vagina. Picture. But then I was like asking VJ questions, and he wasn't being very engaged. And I was like, well, we already agreed on this. Yeah. So he yeah. tried to sabotage it. I don't appreciate snakes and, and cheaters. Really, really messed up, VJ. Really messed up, bro. If you try to say if anything goes bad, at least I look good. Exactly. Which is exactly what you've said previously. That's exactly what you just said in the challenge earlier. You were like, well, if it all goes bad, at least I'll be in my underwear. Like, Andre is very confusing. Very confusing. Okay, what's this? It's this 
it's time for the it results to be revealed. Oh, results. After getting a D plus on our science fair project, I know that I have to nail this photo. Nail? Hi, guys. Right, I think we should just go right to the pictures. Right. Oh, the tans. What happened with her tan? <laughs> I mean, it is so bad. Brett's girl looks like she's painted or had radiation problems. We did cocoa butter and lotion and it worked out perfectly and then it dried not so good. You put the, the, the weakest link in front. And what you two have working for you is your chemistry and your bodies and your gorgeous faces and you're not utilizing them here. Sometimes when you take a risk, you got burned for it. Yeah, what is the point of this? <laughs> And see no man. This poor nerd looks like he's he has like some sort of rash, bad rash. I okay, have we to can say, say rash again. because anyone can catch a rash, okay? Your bodies, where are your bodies? Our faces were off on every body shot. I'm just really disappointed in myself because I know that this could have been the Does that mean that they've seen the photos? Are they picking the photos themselves? I thought it was the host that picks the photos, no? <laughs> Was that a little like trick behind production we've seen there? A shot that would have brought me in to the competition. Okay, well, didn't work Next out. Next picture. Did it. Andre and Rachel. Ooh. This so far, I think, is the best photograph oh, that no, we've seen. Win, aren't they? You what did look... they use? What did they use? They didn't say what they used. Part of models in this picture. Rachel's hair and makeup looks fantastic. Your nerd actually looks good. His tan looks, you know, somewhat normal. The thing is, the nerd that they were given has also like the most like the cast of the show out of the whole selection. So I feel like that's a bit of an unfair description to take there. Like he looked the best because you're already looking at someone who kind of looks a bit like the models that are already in the house. Like, I don't know about that. Mm. And that was the point of this ad. I turn a nerd into a nude god. I'm a genius! Oh, what did you use? That feels a bit rigor mortis. Oh, God. Rigor well, it's kind of funny, this picture. It's kind of like the nerdy version of the Coppertone ad. Daniel. Daniel! You stepped up your game. You look great. I felt like... She's finally liking something that I've done. Angela, I love that we're seeing your body. You have um, a real model's body. Moving on, okay? So, here we go. Wow. VJ, this picture is all about you. Oh, Jesse's is going, you. isn't he? Jesse, this was a really important challenge for you, as I, right. as I kept stating. Yes. And you really let VJ take over the photograph. I don't know if that has to do with VJ and VJ kind of sabotaging you here because it really. Oh, sorry. I just need to pause here. I just re I really don't like the name VJ. I just don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Feel free to leave me hate comments, but I just don't like the name VJ. It's all about VJ. VJ's smile. VJ's the life of the party. VJ is, you know, has champagne all over him. I wanted more of Jesse. VJ set me up. It's a coup. Coming out. Oh, this is a very difficult episode to judge here because I feel like this has been a very safe episode so far. I feel like production saw what was going on in the last episode and were like, something a bit easy next week, bit simpler, yeah. We'll just have some fun as opposed to drama. Mary Alice said BJ stole all the spotlight in the picture. BJ is trying to <laughs> with me. Why don't you tell her what you told me? <gasps> tell, Exposed. tell, tell, yeah, tell her Andre, what you ahead. told me. Exposed. I'm feeling like, oh, you know God. what? Don't say anything. I didn't have any really like proof per se or anything that I could really say that was concrete. No, he did sabotage your the photo shoot. The, the, Who's who? He sabotaged it. He came and told me. I had to defend Jesse because I'm a Leo, I'm a king. I need to defend people who can defend themselves. That's not very kingly behavior, is it? To throw your friend under the bus, which is exactly what you've done there. You're not defending him. He perhaps didn't think it was the right time to share this information, and you've just gone, No! Too vague! Stop vague booking! Why don't you tell him? It's, uh, tell her. It's a competition. He took, he picked the weakest link for a purpose, because if anything goes bad, he's not gonna be the one that looks bad. That's what he told me. One, just one second. Never, ever put any words in my mouth. No, That's no, no. I you. have to he, say to you, he, never put any words in my he mouth. He told me. Andre thinks he is almighty. Shut your face before I put my fist in it. VJ, are you sure you're not trying to sabotage Jesse? No, 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 you know, no. we're getting at the point we of the were, game now. We you guys cannot really trust together, your Mary partners. Alice, we did. We, we were very together in all of this. Because VJ made his body look good and no one else's. <laughs> okay, now I have to pick one Ooh. winner. 
but also kind of true. I mean, I do forget that this show has $100,000 up for grabs. Like, that is a lot of money, a life-changing amount of money, especially for, like, 2000 and seven, 2008, something like that. Interesting. Oh, I wonder why, oh, 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 oh. <sighs> and I'm gonna go with Andre and Rachel. Interesting. What it feels it fantastic to win a callback challenge because we know we're not going home. We have immunity. Um, I felt that your photo. Andre shouldn't have even been potential. here this week. You won an automatic callback to the next episode. Angela and Daniel had the edge, and the winner is Soviet. The rest of you models are in jeopardy of being purged. Not purged. Why are we you using that word? On the catwalk for tonight's elimination. See you on the runway, girls. Oh my gosh, see you on the catwalk. Unusual to hear someone say catwalk on an American show. I think Here we go. Crying. I don't know what to say, but I'm so. Nothing to say, but hey, it was fun. I thought I'm walking to be executed. I'm walking to be eviscerated. I'm like, what do you wear? I think today is the end of the road for Jesse in the house. It's like Marie Antoinette, right? She's like, what? Going to your own beheading. This competition is a roller coaster. I've been to highs and to lows and that I haven't reference. experienced in a long time. I'm scared, but I'm Who so... What is this interesting camaraderie we're seeing between Jesse and Andre? Because didn't in the last episode we saw, like, it was Andre versus everyone? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. This is a very, very different episode we're seeing today. Cool. Yeah, I'm just praying that God sees fit that I make it. I don't want to go home. Right, oh, gosh, yeah. Right, zoom in. Cinematic girls. Time. For the eviction. All oh, right, here she is on the game. Eliminations tonight. We got called out big time on our photo. We feel like we can do a lot Call better than we I've did today. The and we were not the worst of the worst. I am nervous tonight because we got a really low grade on our science project. And I also made a very oh. poor choice in the photo that I did. Interesting. I feel like I'm on thin ice going into elimination. I feel like I didn't perform my was best. Was that Lisa? Because she looked totally different with her hair up. I was like, I'm a little nervous and scared. Good evening, evening models. See so many it's time for another purge. Faces. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go, girls. Good evening, models. It's time for another purge. Andre and Rachel, you had the best photo today, so you won the You're tropical safe. photo shoot. Congratulations. Really that means Rachel's you get an automatic on. call back to the next episode. You are safe for now. And you two are lucky, because you really didn't do so well in the science fair, but you made up for it in the photo shoot. Andre is a fierce competitor. Always, sure always. Going into elimination, I really don't care who goes home. We're staying, that's all that it matters. What I do Why care is, no one picking is that him up on I did better than Daniel, and he's dying. Lisa and Rachel, will you please step down? Oh dear. I want to stay in this house and I want to stay in this competition. Oh dear. I want that $100,000. I have to say I was lost for words when I saw that picture. You didn't work your bodies. Um, you didn't work well together. And obviously uh, not oh, blowing anybody's really... brains out at the science fair competition. It's hard to imagine. Sorry? Zil not blowing anybody's brains out at the science fair competition. It's hard to imagine Zillard or Fermi or any of the great nuclear scientists ending their work on the Manhattan Project by saying whatever. I mean, come on. Whatever, you know what I mean. Jesse, please step down. Weird. Oh. Mary Austin Ben called me down the runway to face possible elimination. This is my third time at the chopping block. Oh. Jesse. Probably gonna be you. I feel like I'm continuously giving you warning after warning. And you're not taking anything to heart. I think Warning. you're probably this is strong a great word. actor. I'm not so sure you're a model, I see but you're method. not acting like a model. I think the issue is that I may be uh, flamboyant or just over the top. Flamboyance is great. But I'm also a model. I, I am, and I know that. But for some reason, I, I don't seem to be able to connect it to you. Clearly, she has a problem with me, and she can't overlook it. Yes. And I'm thinking, damn, this could be my last night. Lisa. You've got a fantastic body. I do wonder if they'll throw out a curveball, though, and get rid of blonde Rachel, because I have a funny feeling. I feel like it's almost going to go that way. I'm on the edge of my ovum, girls. I have to go. I think you'd be an incredible fit model, right. and I really thought the that fashion. the picture that I would see before me today would be yeah, no a bad. lot different. 
Also, Off I'm very concerned about your edge challenges. You've got to take it more seriously. I mean, it's, it's serious. You, you're beautiful enough for any purpose. It's the brains part that's not working quite right. I agree. Rachel, you're also not it's doing brains, so well in the smarts department with these oh. challenges, but you're a very pretty girl. You need to step it up. If I'm still here, I am going to study and study and study. <laughs> Who's gonna go? I, I just get a feeling they're it's gonna very, throw a curveball. Ben and I talked a lot about this, but we have made our decision. It's been a very, very, very painful decision, but like the audience who witnessed the swan song of the corpulent swan. soprano, Miltine Price in 1997. Jesse, the fat lady, has sung. Oh. Thank you. We are very I sorry. It. Bye bye. A model is just so much more than a six pack. And you know, we're all vulnerable. We all want validation. Imagine no how saying goodbye. How the fat lady has sung. That was beings. unnecessary. But in the end, it's a conversation. This was an unusual Thank pairing. You, I didn't see coming. Did you? You're safe. For sure. For sure. Yeah, okay, baby. All right. <laughs> I may not be their choice of America's most smartest model. But I'm still Jesse, and I love me a whole bunch. You were set up to fail from the start, though. Lisa and Rachel, consider this your final warning. There's a lot of young men back That's there the music. that are bringing both their beauty and their brains to this competition. You guys gotta work it for the ladies, <laughs> okay? Yes. So, you got it. Please return to the end of the runway. Please return to your wigs. As for the rest of you, remember. As for the rest this of you, is a game. Even your closest friend is your competition, because only one of you can be crowned America's most smartest model and win the Extreme Style by VO5 grand prize of one hundred thousand dollars. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night and good luck. Weird episode, I've got some thoughts, my lovelies. So that was completely out of left field, wasn't it? Like, what was that? What was happening throughout that entire episode? It felt like a lot of the drama of the last episode was kind of not pulled across in any way, shape or form to this one. In fact, actually we kind of saw Andre's demeanor quite different in this episode, almost like he had to kind of be a bit friendly. Although I did find it very weird to see him pull out Jesse at the very end there. And almost, I don't quite understand what the argument there was. He was kind of saying something to VJ, but something to Jesse, but then back again. When I watch this during editing, I'm gonna be like, oh yes, is it really like that? I just don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you what do you mean? <laughs> Next I want to talk about the kind of roller coaster that was the fake tan section. Like why did they feel the need to like bring in nerds and then just like body shame them for things that they can't control? Like you can't control how hairy you are. Like that's genetic predisposition most of the time. Like that's quite unfair to be like, oh my god, like what what was one of them said? Something like, oh, the mo the hairy gorilla or something like that. It's just like, no. Uh, that's so ridiculous. Like so high school and so blech, left me feeling quite dirty actually. And then we have the fake tan fiasco. What was that about? Why didn't they just give them like ingredients to actually make a tan? Why was everything a bit like, we've got cocoa powder and baby oil. I don't even know if I could have come up with something that would have worked from those ingredients. I mean, I didn't even get, we didn't even get to see what ingredients they had. Also, what was Andre and Ozzy Rachel's tan formula? Because that looked really good. And if I was gonna hazard a guess here, I would say there were some production shenanigans that got them a tan that somehow worked because we didn't see them working towards a tan in that room using all of the ingredients on the table, did we? I don't know. I feel like production is almost gunning for Andre to just get through constantly. So lots of questions are being asked and I just don't quite know what we're gonna see. This is completely left me bewildered. Jesse was completely set up to fail though, because as soon as we heard the judges, oh, bait, the judges talk about his like body, I was like, oh, you're, there's no way you're gonna make it to the end because there is no way that you can tone up your body to the place that the judges wanted it in as short a time as the filming of this show would have been. You just couldn't do it. So I'm honestly not surprised 
that this whole episode was kind of based around him going almost. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Ali Cat Darling. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram. You're a stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is XXXaria and I share all my fashion and travel content over there. She's sort of a model a little bit, perhaps maybe a little bit. <laughs> and as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Alex Ewart Official, Orko Samoji, Ari Adia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Cameron Pittman, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finch Dunham, Hannah Ruth, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paula Rivera, Ryan Loves Rory, Steph Utech, Taylor Martin and Vicky Walsh. And you know what, my lovelies? I'm going to leave it on the notes of let's bring science fairs to the UK, shall we? Let's, let's introduce science fairs into school. I love that idea. 